Happy holidays! I am here with David McCallum, head chef and owner of Hunger Strike and Melt, and his lovely partner and co-owner Michelle Ferrone. And we're here to do a holiday special for you with a slightly out-of-the-box dish, wild quail. But first, I have holiday yeah. gifts. Mine. <laughs> So, uh, Dave, tell us what we're going to be doing with our wild quail. Sure thing. Um, you want to give me a hand? No. Cocktails. So, in honor of the upcoming Christmas holiday, today we are going to do partridge in a bay tree. Uh, but this is wild quail. Quail is partridge. I did not know that. Okay, so what's our first step? Uh, first step is our spas rub. This is our little variation on a traditional Brazilian coffee rub. It's just five ingredients. It's salt, pepper, paprika, brown sugar, and instead of using coffee beans in this one, we're doing our Urban Nature Man twist on it. The wild bay nuts. Bay nuts. And these are bay nuts that I picked actually just in the mountains here behind our house. And they grow on the bay tree, like the leaf you buy in the store. And when you roast them, they have a dark chocolatey coffee kind of flavor. And if you can't find your own wild bay nuts, just replace it with coffee. But we did find your bay nuts and made this beautiful little spice rub here. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to show you my spatchcock. Be quiet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two beautiful, lovely little wild quail that we have. Um, you can see that the skin has been removed because of the fact that we're gonna end up breading and frying these. Basically, spatchcocking is, um, is just a method of sort of opening up the bird so that it lays flat and it cooks okay. evenly. Sort of like a butterfly. Right, right, oh, exactly. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the legs are already Split open. Flexible so, bird. Yes, exactly. Um, so all we're going to do is we're just going to make a couple of shallow cuts right here um, to sort of open up the rib cage. Okay. Um, bend it over, just crack it open like that. And then the only other thing that we have to do is just split the breastbone down like that. And wow. that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is the rub. Ah! Hi. The rub. There it is. So. Um, just take a bowl or a shallow dish or whatever and just go ahead and pour some of the rub on there. Okay. Yeah. Like that? And just give it a good massage in. So it's not too hard, just... No, no, okay. just, yeah. I mean, you know, you're just sort of packing it on so that it will stick to all of the flesh, both sides. Okay, and then once it's done, you put it in the refrigerator and you leave it there At for... least overnight, mm -hmm. um, up to 48 hours. Well, I have two quail that I spatchcocked and I rubbed, and okay. they were in the fridge overnight, okay. and I want to show them to Cool, you. excellent. Let's see... All right. Your... <laughs> we've got one very nicely spatchcocked quail <laughs> here, and then we've got half of a quail and then and i'm not sure if you realize this but there should be another quarter of this quail so i'm not <laughs> exactly sure missing. what happened if you don't get it right on the first time don't feel too bad not a big deal okay um, you can take this quite literally butchered piece of poultry cut it into thirds okay. and actually do a really cool um past or dirt. Yes. Mistakes are completely normal. Uh, there's always a way to salvage things, but do not ever do that again. Never. Okay, let's move on. Why don't you grab our dredge? Yes. And we'll show that station, and I will start heating up the oil over here. So we set that to medium okay. heat, and we set up our dredging station here. So the egg is just Two or three eggs, just lightly beaten with a little bit of water. Okay. Easy peasy. And then for your flour dredge there, you've got something yes. urban and nature-y. I did a 50-50 mixture of regular flour and wild buckwheat flour. Excellent. So uh, we've got our dredge ready. We take Dan Quayle and we put him into the egg wash. If you see any little dry spots, make sure you get oh, those. Sure. Every nook and cranny. Every nook and cranny. Then you put it into the flour. Just like the rub. You can just take it right there and put it onto the rack. Mm -hmm. But I like big, crunchy, crunchy crust. So put this one back into the egg oh, wash. We're double we're dipping. Back. We're double All dipping. Right. Double dipping. Double dipping. Very nice. Just like the kernel. And then we'll put it back. Again, just let it drain a little bit. Put it back into the dry and coat it again. Mm -hmm. And then just lay it out on our rack there. Okay. Now, do not take it right out of there and put it right into the oil. That's what I do every time. <laughs> do not right. do it. 
you've got to lay it there, just let it rest for about five minutes. And what happens is that the moisture from the egg and the flour kind of combine and really adhere to the, to to the, the bird. Otherwise, okay. when you put it in, that's when Start all the flour just kind of falls off. And that explains that, okay. So that's the last one. Uh, we're gonna let those sit there for about five minutes. Don't play with them. In the meantime, we're gonna talk about the glaze. Oh, okay. Here's the glaze. Excellent. Okay. This is a bourbon glaze. So basically okay. what we've done is we've taken brown sugar mm -hmm. um, and just a little bit of water, okay. mix those together on the stove and that makes caramel. Oh, really? Add a little bit of butter. That turns it into butterscotch. That makes sense. And then add a little bit of bourbon because bourbon makes everything better. <laughs> and a little bit of vanilla extract okay. and just bring it all up to a boil. Let it boil for just a couple of minutes until it all becomes sort of a syrupy consistency. Mm -hmm. Then pour it into something, let it come down to room temperature and uh, you've got a nice, yummy, tasty little bourbon glaze. Nice. And we'll put the exact recipe up on the website for you guys to check out later. So Dave is off making some side dishes for our dinner and he has left me to do the frying. I don't know why our guests keep doing that. So now all I have to do is test the oil. So I'm gonna take the stirring end of a wooden spoon into the oil and bubbles are coming up. So that means that the oil is ready to cook. So let's fry some quail. Okay. All right, six or seven minutes, then I'll do the next batch. Oh, I can't wait to try it. There you go, one partridge in a bay tree. Thank you very much, Dave McCallum. This Absolutely. looks like a delicious sauce. And for showing us how to make a delicious holiday dinner with forged wild bay nuts, wild quail, and, um, and fry it all up for something that just looks amazing. I hope you get to try this at home and please let me know how it goes on the Urban Nature Man forum. Now, get out there and play. Oh my gosh, that looks good. We're ready. All right, happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. <laughs> Mm. All right. Let's eat it. Let's do it. Eat it. Oh my god, that's really good. Oh, because that coffee turned into like almost a chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh wow.